Mr. Schmidt. Guess what I've been doing all day? Tell everybody what you've been doing all day. I've been in the classroom. Poor you. I know. I was so sad, guys. I was back in the classroom and it just felt like the way that we left it. It still said March 17th on the board. Yeah. It was so sad. I don't think my date was still on the board when I went on Friday, but... Mine was still on the board, and I thought, <sighs> I don't even want to erase it. I have to go back on Thursday yeah. to finish. You did all so... yours in one day, but we, yeah. we were only allowed to stay till a certain time. I was so sad. But, um, oh, by the way, guys, uh, please make for sure that you go pick up your belongings. Yeah, we're saving them for you. When you uh, drop off your last packet, because some of you... In my class, um, had some personal books in your yeah. stuff. Pencil boxes. And, you know, your pencil bags, yeah. zipper stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, stuff you bought from book fair or book order in my class. Yeah. So um, just make sure you pick up your stuff. If you don't want it, then you can throw it away. But definitely look through it because some of you had some books in there. Yeah. All right. Okay, so okay. today. We have a short day today, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so today, uh, you're reading for 30 minutes. Make sure you're doing that, guys. And then uh, we have a writing. I'm sorry, a reading. It says, a tragedy that brought change. Isn't it unfortunate that we have to have a tragedy to have a change? I'm thinking about what we're going through now. That's definitely going to make a change. Oh, it's going to make a lot of changes. Changes to our lives. Yeah. And I don't, I maybe forever. But yeah, um, yeah definite changes. So, yeah, it is what it is. We get stronger. Well, when but, I first heard this title, I was thinking, oh, are they talking about Titanic? Mm -hmm. Because, but no, they're talking about, and we don't have the, we don't have all the text on the screen, so. Yeah, it's I forgot a, to cover it's it a up. New York City, uh, factory. Triangle, uh, fabric. Yeah. Factory. Yeah. So, um. Caught on what fire. Are, yeah. What are some safety regulations that we see every day that prevent tragedies like this from occur reoccurring? So I see that um, the tragedy that brought change, um, I read it. It was actually a year, a little over a year before uh, the Titanic. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a situation where uh, some people were working and there was a fire and they had to escape. And their only uh, route for escaping was through a, um, oh, what do they call those things? A fire escape, uh, which is a uh, stairway on the outside of a building. Usually you go through a window or something, and then it's like a metal stairway that will take you down to the street. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's not intended for Crowds. lots of yeah, people it's... at one time. But guess it was called a fire escape. I mean, but um, unfortunately, uh, it did uh, collapse, and there were several people that perished, died because of it. Um, so there are definitely better regulations. So think about the things that we do at school. What do we do? The the routines that we have in place to make for sure that if there is a fire that we get you out safely yeah i know your room has a disadvantage in that regard not to <laughs> alarm anybody but you know yeah. you only have your one door and one window right yep yeah. i was thinking that today yeah. for 13 years mrs schmidt has been fussing about this and for I've, i'm seeing another 14. <laughs> Yeah. Luck, luckily, there's not a lot of stuff that we would do in the room that could cause a fire. I mean, maybe electrical, yeah. but at least all your electrical devices are mostly on the other side of the room, away from the yeah. door window. Yeah. So, yeah, it's we're, still scary. We're, we're I'm glad hope. I have two doors. Yeah, <laughs> most people do. Yeah. And Miss Schmidt always hopes for the best. And so we're going to. And good news is, is if you were in my class, you're not in it now, as far as going back into room 16. Yeah. So, well, and yours isn't the only room like that, is it? No, unfortunately, there <coughs> are others. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're not trying to talk about all bad news, but no. yeah, uh, there my, are my sixth things. grade. My sixth grade class had a one door, and there was a fire in there while we were in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did I, I told you that story, right? Mm -hmm. The guy doing a he was doing a science experiment. A professor from my yeah. friend, my teacher's friend, and he had a a device that was spinning around spraying alcohol. 
Oh, good grief. It, well, it was like to show the pressure and how it could make the thing work. We're talking rubbing alcohol. Yeah, <clears throat> of course. And he also had a burner that was for a steam, in, steam engine on the other side of the table, but somehow the alcohol hit that. Oh, burner and whew, the whole table oh, caught on fire no. and oh wow everyone was okay but we freaked out you know how, oh yeah you know how you practice for a fire drill yeah we just ran like we're out of here <laughs> yeah, like, but then we're like ah! looking back wow isn't that cool yeah yeah i can see gabriel well, it was, like oh, yeah, look at the, this the man. guy that he got burned a little bit well wow. not his skin didn't get burned oh good but his shirt was polyester and he actually made Ooh. a lesson out of that yeah, he had a he had a melts. He had a cotton t shirt underneath and so the shirt melted onto the cotton. undershirt. Yeah, and so I said, oh, Wow. You know Yeah, that, polyester melts and poor um, guy. Yeah. <laughs> melting is worse than burning. I wonder what kind yeah. of paperwork you have to fill out if Ooh. such a thing happens. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> So, guys, go ahead and read this article and um, think about uh, the things that we do today um, that keep this tragedy from reoccurring. What are some of the things in place? Probably more than one exit. Well, they mentioned some in the article, too. Yes, they did. But so, they, they actually talk about how it changed the work week and it changed the hours that people yeah, work. Yeah, and, and maybe that was more to do with uh, making sure there weren't so many people in a space at one time. Maybe so. Yeah. So, anyway, but uh, go ahead and read it. I thought it was interesting. It's a short read. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, again, I'll just point out, it's a word study read, so they're probably putting the spelling words in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go down if I can. There we go. Okay. Okay, so writing is simple for today. For writing, super cheesy easy. Um, my class, I know that you are on Paulina's website doing this. <laughs> uh, free write. Write about anything that is on your mind. So... Yeah, that's super cool. Um, I love the way that you guys are um, doing things together as a team. I love it, love it, love it. So uh, I know everybody's been trying, kind of putting ideas in there together. And so it's just something to think about. Cool. Yeah. Collaboration, that's awesome. I love it. On their own. And we have me. no spelling today, so we're no straight spelling. to math. We're straight to math. Okay, Mr. Schmidt. <clears throat> oh, good grief. This is Eureka Math. Which is? Engage New York! Yeah. Yeah, my kids know this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so this is pretty cheesy easy. Can't believe how easy. Okay, um, a meteorologist set up rain gauges at various locations around the city and recorded the rainfall amount in the table below. Use the data in the table to create a line plot using 1 8 inches. Okay, so guys, I've looked at this um, at this uh, data over here, and I'm gonna shrink it so as we can I see can the whole thing. see, um, it's not all in eighths. So I know that we can figure it out, <coughs> and I'm sure Mr. Schmidt has a really awesome way of doing it. But Mrs. Schmidt, in my old-fashioned way, we're just gonna do this. Us the color. Mm -mm -mm. We haven't used this sky blue in a while, and we're gonna get it to go sky. Okay, cool. By the way, the so, junk, the junk in the background. I'll just mention the junk in the background. That's our dog's cone, Maggie's cone, so she won't lick her stitches. I'm just saying, we don't yeah. normally have a junky place like this. Yeah, yeah. And then so uh, I look at this here, and so we have to have common denominators. So I'm just looking at this. Well, I need everything in an eighth. This is already an eighth, so I'm just going to move it over. Three eighths is good. We're going to go ahead and move that over. This is three fourths. I need it to be an eighth. So what did I do to the four to get eight? Well, I multiplied that by two. So I'm going to multiply the three by two, which is going to give me a six. So I have six eighths. And so uh, the same thing. I'm going to do six eighths again. Uh, one fourth. I need it in eighths. What did I do to that 4 to get an eighth? I multiplied it by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, so it's 2 eighths. All right. Well, here is the same thing. I'm going to uh, move it over. I'm going to say 1 because I'm not going to change the whole number. And I'm going to change the 1 fourth just like that. So I'm going to make that 2 eighths. 1 eighth is the same as up here, and it's already an eighth, so I'm going to put it down there. 
uh, one fourth. I've already done that up here. It's two eighths, one whole. I'm just going to leave it one whole. Uh, one eighth is just one eighth. So I've done all of the conversions. Everything is in eighths. Mr. Schmidt, can you look at that? What is the smallest eighth that I have? It looks like one eighth. Okay. There's so, more than one of those, but it. Yeah. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to say one eighth. And so um, I, I'm going to go further than, t than uh, eight eighths. So I'm going to go um, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, which we know is one half, five eighths, six eighths, Seven eighths. I'm gonna go check on our dogs. Eight eighths. See why they're barking. Which is one hole. So I'm gonna put a one down there. And then I'm gonna go uh, one and one eighth. And then I'm gonna go one and two eighths. And I think that is as high as we go. Okay, so now we need to plot our data. So I have an eighth right here. So I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put an X there. I'm going to cross that off. I have a three eighths. So I'm going to put an X right there and cross it off. I have a six eighth. I'm going to put an X right here and I'm going to cross it off. I have another six eighth. Ooh, two of them going to cross it off. I have a two eighths. I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to cross it off. I have a one in two eighths, which is right here. So I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to cross that off. A one eighth. Ooh, two of them again. Okay. I'm going to put it across it off. I have a two eighths. I have two of those. Awesome. Awesome. I have a one hole. Well, one hole is also eight eighths. One hole, eight eighths. So I'm going to put that right there. And I have another one eighth. Ooh, three of them. Okay. Okay, so I have done all of it. So A says, which location received the most rainfall? Well, Okay, so if I look up here, I see it's the ones that are one eighth because I have three, two, two. Okay, so it's definitely the ones that are one eighth. So which locations? That would be location one. I'm okay. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna have to disagree. Why? Well, because it says which location received, oh, received the most received the rainfall. Most rainfall. Yeah. I apologize. Oh, I am so, so sorry. Okay. You are absolutely <laughs> correct. That is not the way I was... Oh, you are so right. I would have yeah. so totally blown that. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, so. Um, received the most rainfall. Well, that would definitely be... The one and two eighths. Well, who was the one and two eighths? It's right here. So that would be location six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which location received the least rainfall? Well, well that would be on the one, one yeah. eighth. So locations. Okay. So the one eighth would be location one. Location 7. And location 10. And location 10. Now the next question is what you were thinking. A yeah. yeah. Which uh, rainfall measurement was the most frequent? I knew that was in there because I read the questions before. I just wasn't thinking when I was starting A. Which I'm so glad that Mr. Schmidt was here to catch me. I came that back could, from checking the dots. That could definitely be an error if you were taking a quiz. But that's why we go back and double check our work. Um, I would hope I would have caught it then. 
which rainfall measurement was most frequent? It was one eighth. Okay, what is the total rainfall in inches? That means that I have to add all of these up. And you know what, Mr. Schmidt? I love Maggie's sound effects. I know, she's making, oh, she's drinking water back there. Yeah. I'm not going to answer that one. <coughs> what is the total rainfall in inches? Yeah, because I've already converted it to all four of them over here. Okay. I think they could add that, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. So, it's, so if you I add mean, up the if it fractions, wasn't all crossed out, you know. But one eight, three eighths, six eighths, six eighths, two eighths, one and two eighths, one eighth, two eighths, one and one eighth. Just add them all Yeah. Up. Add up the uh, fractions and then add the whole numbers into it. Yeah. Um, do you want me to do it? No, no. What I want to do is just say, okay, you guys, if you're going to work that out, pause the video. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, unpause it to see if you agree with our answer. Okay. How about that? Okay. Because some people may find adding all those up a little difficult. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I know most of you won't, but some people might. And if you do think that it's difficult, hey. So can I just write the answer? You, you already know the answer? I do. Okay. Then I'll see if I agree with you. <laughs> okay. So I am going to come up with this answer here for... And seven eighths. Now I'm going to let Mr. Schmidt work it out and well, see if he comes up with the same answer. I don't know if I want to like add it all up. I I always. It should be four and seven eighths inches. <clears throat> let me just switch colors. Let's see, okay, I switch colors. So I have one hole there. Okay, I'm just looking for what I can get rid of easily. I have one and two eighths there. Okay, one and two eighths, and I have six eighths here. Six eighths plus two eighths is one hole. So I know that those add up to two holes. Mm -hmm. So I have one plus two so far. And then one eighth plus three eighths would be four eighths. Let me see if I've got anything good for the, oh, one, two, three, four eighths right there. So these four eighths plus the four eighths down here, that's another hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what do I have left? Let me see, I've got six eighths. Just gonna put them off to the side here so I can see out of this list now. Six eighths, two eighths. Oh no, Miss Schmidt's already wrong. What? No, 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 no. Cause yeah, that's eight eighths. That's well, another hole. Okay, then, then you know what? We're gonna actually work it out the normal way. I was just trying to do it quickly since you already had the answer. Six eighths, two eighths. That's another hole, right? Mm -hmm. So that's another one hole. Then I have that one's already ticked off. To, everything's ticked off. No, there's two eights, six eights. Oh, I added those two up. Okay, so would it be one, two, three, four, five, five? Let okay. You know what? <laughs> Don't give me that evil look. Okay, I'm I gonna, think that we need to redo it. We're gonna do it over here in this empty white space. So we have one eighth plus three eighths plus six eighths. Well, okay, six eighths, two eighths, and I, you know what? I'm not going to do a vertical list. I'm just going to list them out over here too. Six eighths, two eighths, one and two eighths, one eighth. Two eighths. Now that's eight values, so I should have two more values. One and then one eighth. One, I miscounted by one. And one eighth. I want to take my answer back. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to count up all these eighths first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's six more there. That's 14, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Is that what you got? 20 eighths? That no. shouldn't be right. Okay, I must have counted something that shouldn't be counted. Oh my goodness! Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
That's not right. 28. So I have 1, 4, plus 6 is 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You have 24 eights? I have 24. Did you forget to put a number in there? I don't know. There? It's such a mess now. I don't know. So it's 24. Mr. No, no, Schmidt. no, 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 no. How do we know? We can, we're just taking it for granted that it is. Okay. Let me just check these one. This is crazy talk, Mr. Okay. Schmidt. All right. All right. You know what? Let's just, I want to erase. Let's erase this stuff. I want to see just the numbers themselves. All right. We're ready now, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, switch to a pen. Okay. We've got one eighth. Mm-hmm. Yes. And three eighths. And then we have three eighths. And you know, I'm just going to add this as I go. I'm not going to write a list again. This will be four eighths, right? One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. This will be six eighths. This will be six eighths again. This will be two eighths, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just writing the numerators. This will be two eighths because we multiply by two. Multiply two this eights. one. This one's already oh, one. Oh, one eighth. <clears throat> this one will be two. Two eighths. This one will be one whole. This one is one eighth again. So we have one and three and six, six eighths, two eighths, two eighths, one eighth, two eighths, one eighth. Mm -hmm. So if we add these up we have four here mm -hmm. so that's 10 18 19 20 24 mm -hmm. so 24 eighths mm -hmm. and i know that 24 divided by 8 which is, is 24 eighths three. that equals 3 so now and if we add that with the holes, holes okay let me we erase. had two of let them let me erase can't even see with all that writing there so then yeah we have two holes mm -hmm. one there so it's five and one there so, I was off by an eighth. Woo! Yeah, we were just going to let them do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we didn't. Oh, my goodness. Although, you guys probably would have gotten it right and not had to do all that uh, yeah, nonsense. Yeah, crazy talk okay. on our part. So, could we go back over there? We want to make for sure that this is super clear. This is not the answer Oh my goodness, I don't have it straightened out. Okay, so that is not the answer. The answer is five inches, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next problem. All right. Hopefully we'll do better. Okay, uh, draw a line plot for the following data measured in inches. Okay, so this one here, oh, good grief. I would so, look at question two right now so you can decide what you're going to do. Because they're going to ask you how you decided to do explain this. Explain how you decided to divide your whole numbers into fractional parts and how you decided where your number scale should begin and end. Well, first of all, um, to me, I definitely believe that we need to find a common denominator. We have to do that. And then to find out where it's going to begin and where it's going to end, we need to find what is our smallest fraction or mixed number. What is our largest mixed number or fraction? I disagree. What would you No, do? I agree. <laughs> you but I, I, already, I already decided, okay, I see that one and a half appears to be the smallest uh -huh. value that's there. So I would use a one as the beginning, or it wouldn't even matter if I use zero, but I, I want to have room for all my fractions. Yeah. So I'd so, start with one. So we're going to start right here with a uh, one. And I would stop with four. Oh, what did I write to? We're just having a bad day. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, we're just feeling silly. Okay, so we're going to uh, start right there. No, 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 pause. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, we're back. We apologize. We got so caught up in the controversy over the math 
that we didn't notice that our dog was starting to lick her stitches. <laughs> and so we had to put her hood back on. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with one. And then, um, well, Mr. Schmidt, I, we still need to make these into common denominators. Yeah, but it's pretty easy because you just have twos and fours. Yeah, so, so what did I do to the two? Because we're going to have to make them fours. Two times what gave me four, it's two. So it's going to be... Why are you stopping? We could still put the number at the end, right? The beginning, wouldn't you pick mm. your beginning and end value? Okay, let's go ahead and look at that. What is our largest? Three and three. three I see three, three and three, three fourths. fourths. Okay, so we can do that. <coughs> three and three fourths, which is in fours. So we like that. Or I that. would just put a four. <laughs> okay. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and take that one out because we've already done that. Okay, so. Then you might as well start with one and a half if you're going to. Go to three and three fourths there. We don't need the one. Okay. Well, so one and a half, and you're gonna have to rewrite it when you do your oh, common shoot, denominator. It's okay. Shoot. It's okay. <laughs> okay. We're having a bad day. No. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're just a little distracted by the dog. One and two fourths. Okay. And so, what is our next number, Mr. Schmidt? Do we have another one? No. No. So That's now why it was twos. easy to see that was the smallest. So, we can go into twos. We have a two and three-fourths, two and three-fourths, two and a half, two and three-fourths. So, um, so one and two-fourths. So, I'm going to go, because uh, I want to have some rhyme or reason. Two, and so, I'm going to say I have a th one and three-fourths, and then I'm going to go to a two and I'm just going to go two and one fourth, and then two and two fourths, and then two and three fourths, and then a three, then a three and one fourth, and then a three and two fourths. I think that's going to be easier. So now I have a two and three fourths. So I can take that one off and I'm going to put an X right there. And we um, had that one and we had that one. So we need to definitely do those. Uh, we have a three hole. So we're going to put an X there. And we have a two and a three fourths. So we have another one. Or was that the one we already did? No, we did that one there. So yeah. And then a two and a half, which is two and two fourths. Okay, and a two and three fourths again. Cool, lots of those. Another three. So we're gonna put that right there. A three and one half, which is a three and two fourths. So we're gonna cross that one off. A two and a half, which is a two and two fourths. A three and a half, which is a three and two fourths. Okay, so we have uh, put you it up there. You should cross out that three and oh, a half. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so explain how you decided to divide your holes into fractional parts and how you decided where your number scale should begin and end. Well, um, so we decided. that um, we needed common denominators. I'm going to say four in this case. Um, fourths okay and then we um, we started the uh, line plot with 
the smallest number. largest number three and three fourths. Okay? Okay. What do you think, Mr. Schmidt? That concludes our broadcast for today. Yeah, I think it worked out well. And I want you guys to see how it was working. I was writing right here when he moved it. We needed to move it, but that's how it happens. Okay, guys. I'm sorry we had so much trouble on the last one. You can see how easy it is to make a mistake. Well, uh, it was a little bit frustrating. You just got to keep going. But you just got to keep keep looking at it yeah. and find that right strategy for doing it. Yeah. Um, but it all worked out. So uh, I, I like this uh, question right here. Uh, definitely some engaged New York. And I did days. something while she was writing out her dissertation right there. I, mm. I I did something. I counted the X's to make sure we had plotted everything. I knew we did, but I just always like to count at mm -hmm. the end to make sure my X's match the number of Absolutely. Values. Absolutely. So it was 11, and we had 11 numbers yep. up there and 11 yep. X's. I did that too. I just didn't say it out loud. But I just always yeah, do that. Yeah, definitely, because I know me. I can it's make easy. a mistake. Well, and especially how they, they have them all typed really close together yeah, there. Yeah, So that's easy to get them mixed up. Well, when I said uh, two and three-fourths, and then I said, oh, did I get that yeah. one? That told me, oh, you better count those. Okay. So definitely do that. So you can see, even as teachers, uh, teachers that have been hey, teachers a teachers long time. Teachers are people. <laughs> hey, we can make mistakes, too. So definitely double-check your work. And um, if you don't get it the first time, it's okay. Just try it again. Yep. It's We all learn by error. Yeah. Okay? So, anyway, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And we will definitely have your next video on first thing in the morning. We will. Um, yes, we will. <sighs> unfortunately. Uh, when are we going to make it? <laughs> unfortunately, uh, we had, um, I had to go to work in, um, uh, Take care of the classroom. But we will have your next video up before noon tomorrow. Okay, before noon. Okay. I was going to say it because otherwise It'll be a lot you're going to have to do it this. after dinner. Okay. So okay. you guys have a great evening and take care. We love you guys. Don't Bye. forget Don't forget to breathe. Yeah. Be safe. We love yes. you. Yes. Bye.